Hey, what's up everyone? This is Boss Mac of BackToGaming.com. Today we're going to be doing a video review of the Painter Blade DDR4 series memory. Now, these memories are meant for overclocking and they come in high frequencies and high capacities, but come in low latencies and low voltage as well. So we're excited to see how they perform on our test bench. So without further ado, let's get started. So okay, first off, we're going to unbox this, but let's check out the packaging first. So see through windows, let us peek inside. We can see the memories right here. We, this is, these are quad channel kits, so we got four in total, so one, two, three, four. So at the front, we can see it's really packed in a gamer design, really attractive, off the shelf. At the back, we can see some of the details. These are DDR4 modules, overclocking memory modules, made for Intel X99, stuff like that. So a Pacer sent us their 16 gigabyte DDR4 3200 memory modules. Now the Pacer Blade series come in up to DDR4 3300 modules. So we're really interested to see how they perform in our test bench later. So let's get these out of the box. Taking a closer look at the memory modules, we can see the blade design right here. It's obviously tailored and designed off a combat knife. Serration right here, the blade design right here grip looks really nice as you can see there's a red highlight up top so if you're rocking a gaming motherboard from gigabyte msi asus that's going to really come together for a nice red and black motif so let's take a look around there you go front i mean one side top other side other side there yeah. So obviously the height, it's not very tall, but it's going to have conflict with large tower coolers, especially if it bumps up against these area. There's not going to be much in terms of compatibility, but you should check out first. So that's it for our unboxing and closer look, it's time to test out these modules. So we just finished testing the Pacer Blade DDR4 modules in our system and setting them up was easy. No need to configure manually. Just go into your BIOS, activate the XMP profile, and in this case, the DDR4-3200, and you're good to go. These kits operate at 1.35 volts, and that's lower compared to the 1.65 OC voltage that most DDR3 requires. Speaking of overclocking, we managed to bump the speeds a little to DDR4-3235 and tighten the timings to 14, 15, 15, 35. We'll experiment with these kits more to see how far we can take them, but for now, we're already impressed. Overall, a Pacer seems to be really doing good with the Blade DDR4 module. If you're looking for a nice looking high performance memory kit for your gaming rig, a Pacer Blade DDR4 modules are a great choice. Again, this has been Boss Mac of BackToGaming.com. Thank you for watching.